Well, hi, this is Peter Combs from Bitamount.com and PL Combs Asian Art here in Gloucester, Massachusetts. We're a little late this week with the uh, weekly video. We were in New Hampshire for the holidays, for Christmas, and uh, we had rather an eventful week. Our heating system went out, and the temperatures hit 18 below zero, and uh, we got it fixed. We got the system replaced. Everything is fine, and here we are. Here's a look at last week's uh, newsletter, and this is one of the pieces that was in it. This really nice uh, Chin Lung period uh, teapot it was beautifully done with uh, uh, Famille Rose figures in it, and here's the bottom of it. This was a very detailed uh, teapot. It was an excellent quality all the way around. Nice gilding, still intact, all the way even down the handle. Usually it's missing there. And here's a, a shot of the side of it with a lady holding a fan and a child with a fishing pole. And here's the lid. And there's the overall pot once again. And uh, it did very well. It brought $1,260, which was a, a nice price for that. But it was beautifully done. Excellent quality. And the next one up was an item from uh, the seller, White Crow. He's a dealer over in Poland. Time to time puts up some nice things. And this was one of them, a very good looking Tibetan uh, altar vase. Altar stand, nice quality, probably 18th or 19th century, but excellent quality. Really was. And it did very well. It brought 2,600 pounds, about $3,500 uh, US, but uh, excellent uh, all the way around. Good looking example. And then on to this. This was something by our friend uh, uh, Freak over in the Netherlands. He sells under the name of Hans3962. This very attractive Kangxi cup and saucer set. And what was nice about this, and a lot of the things he gets are excellent. Uh, the quality is very good and the condition was very good. Not a lot of wear that I could see anywhere. Not hardly anywhere. Beautiful shape. Here's a picture of the bottom. A nice looking bottom on it. And there's a detail of the uh, center of the plate with the bird on the flowers and so forth. And it did very well. It brought $561, but not an unusual price for a molded uh, cup and saucer set. And then there was this. This was sort of an odd thing. It was some sort of a presentation um, uh, on silver inside of a very beautifully carved wooden frame that, that mirrored the uh, decoration of the silver itself, those anthemians going around it and so forth. And here's this picture of the uh, plaque with the inscription on it. I think it, has a, it had a date on it of around 1912 or 1920, perhaps. Here's a picture of the back of it. And it went off for, I think, for a very reasonable price, $395. Um, I think that was a good buy. It was only seven inches tall, but of excellent quality. And uh, this is, again, we get back to we always seeing these sort of secondary Chinese arts are starting to get some interest in the market. And then there was this plate. You may all recall it if you've been watching it. It was a very unusual 18th century plate with a man and a woman in the center and uh, typical of Chinese enamel wares. And it was, a lot of people were interested to see what this would bring. And it did pretty well. It brought uh, $2,400, uh, about 1,800 pounds. And, uh, but a very unusual plate, really unusual. I liked it a great deal. And uh, then on to this. This was the uh, Arita plate, the 18th century Arita plate that was mislabeled and listed as Chinese Qin Lung period, which it clearly is not. And it may be why it brought a fairly modest amount. Um, here's a picture of the bottom, that very typical Y pattern spur mark on the base. Here's a detail of, of, of it with that be those beautiful light and dark blue contrasting uh, colors. And uh, it brought $185, which I think was a relative bargain. And then on to this, the pair of Kangxi uh, covered uh, pots uh, with nice brown dress rims on it. A couple of little chips here and there, as you can see, but overall a very nice pair. Here's another shot of it. Good looking wood side piece. And uh, it went very reasonably. It went for uh, $290 for the pair. Um, is, is, is those of you that buy Kangxi pieces, I'm sure you've, you've seen these singly sell for around that price. So this was a good buy for someone. And uh, then on to this, the uh, Chinese export sepia decorated hot water plate. Uh, very good quality, beautifully potted. Here's a picture of the inside, um, or the center rather, uh, very finely painted. This nice honeycomb uh, cavetto around the outside. And uh, it was overall, it appeared to be in really excellent condition. And it brought just $560, which is a very reasonable price for a piece of circa 1800 export of that quality. And then on to this. This was the uh, later 19th century uh, Famille uh, Rose uh, export, uh, or Famille Rose uh, a brush pot, rather, with a, with, a, with, a, with a studio and a landscape scene, very classical, with the mountains in the background. 
Um, again, but you can notice that up here around the top, there's some minor imperfections in the porcelain, which is pretty typical of these late 19th century pieces. And uh, it went pretty reasonably. It went for about, uh, what was it, about $570. Not bad. And then this. This was something I liked a lot. I love these oddball things. And this was that, that very charming uh, Chinese carved, uh, very three-dimensional wall plaque uh, with the uh, stand holding a vase and an incense burner. And then the, uh, the Ling Bai uh, background with flowers. And it went very reasonably, $212. And uh, this was a good sized thing. It was around 20 inches or so wide. It was a nice object. And uh, then this was the, uh, that bronze with the uh, elephant, the Kuan Yin figure seated on it. We talked about this a little bit uh, over the last couple of weeks as they sold a really, really rare pair, an early pair of, uh, at Christie's in Paris. It brought a lot of money, $300,000. But this is a nice example, crisply carved in good condition. And it did about what we thought. It brought $9,038, which is right about what I think the thing is worth. Uh, but it's not over overpayment. It was a nice thing. And then on to this, the Kangxi Femi Ver uh, plate with um, a, a, a blue ground, that, that sort of soft blue, that blown on blue glaze that's so pretty. And here's the back of it with the, uh, up, well, the figure, the, 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 the precious object is upside down, but very typical back. Nicely done, and it went pretty reasonably, $361. Uh, nice piece of Kangxi, and, and certainly within the range that it should bring. And that was about it for last week. There were a lot of, there were some other things, but none that I, I really want to talk about. But there were some things coming up, and this is one of them this week. This, you may remember, the seller, uh, uh, the seller over a PUD, 77 PUD had this, and a beautiful 19th century fan mounted on a probably a slightly later uh, stand. It's wonderfully carved, and it's a picture interior scene of a woman and a child. He's, he's looking at a fish tank, and there's a nice balustrade in the background looking out a round window to this garden. It's a, it's a very nice composition, extremely attractive. And I have a feeling that whoever bought it didn't pay for it before. Shame on them. This is a good thing. If you buy something at auction, pay your bill, please. Otherwise, it discourages people from wanting to sell. All right, so always pay your bill. And always bid early, all right? A few basic rules of buying at auction. And uh, this was a very nice fan. I liked it. I liked the scene. I liked the colors. And then this, this closes today. You may be a little late to see this by the time I get this video up, but nice looking pair of um, orange, uh, sepia uh, uh, they're on the newsletter now, but uh, uh, vases with uh, these uh, uh, full lion handles down the side. It's only up to $113. Uh, it may be gone by the time I get this video posted though. And then there's this, the Kung Shi, uh, sort of a, a beaker vase. Nice flared rim, a slightly shaped body with these cross hatch uh, uh, side decorations filled in with flowers. Here's a picture of the bottom of it. Very typical foot for one of these. Uh, very neatly trimmed. Trimmed. It's only up to about $113. It's got three days to go. It ends on Tuesday. And then this, this is from um, uh, a seller who had uh, some other vases up. He's got, he's repeating one pair that were up, didn't sell and, um, and or didn't get paid for, I think. And then this pair of vases, really attractive, late 19th century, but pretty and very fine quality. There's a picture of the rim, all right? That's a nice quality pair of vases. They're up to $560 or so. Grand Pip has this. The reserve probably isn't much more than where it is now. And uh, he also has this up, a really attractive, nice, big, um, mid-19th century, maybe a little before uh, Rose Mandarin uh, vase. Uh, beautiful scene with the figures and women attending the gentlemen at a table carrying fans. Uh, the enamels all look to be in good shape. That ends in a few days. And uh, then there was this, this pair of uh, dishes, uh, latter 19th century dishes, but unusual decoration. If you, those of you that buy, have bought a lot will recognize it. These are pretty unusual with the ladies in opposing seating positions that are facing one of the nice saucers. They're up to $551 and they close in a, in a couple of days. And then on to this, the uh, Famille Rose teapot. This is still on. Uh, we've added a lot of other things, but this was a nice teapot, beautifully done. The seller has it as chin lung. I think it might be a little older than that, but excellent quality. And uh, here's a picture of the foot rim on it. Uh, that looks like an earlier foot to me rather than a later uh, chin lung foot, but I may be mistaken. Uh, but here's the, 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 the lotus flowers on them, very three-dimensional. This thing is extremely three-dimensional, and it's in excellent shape. Has a couple of little losses here where somebody probably put that teapot down a bit too hard and nicked a couple of the flowers. 
but not a major sin. It's up to $150, and it closes um, next uh, Saturday, I believe. All right. And uh, that's about it. We've added a lot of other things this week that turned up. We did some digging around while I was on vacation and uh, put together what we could. We found a few nice things and put them in this week's newsletter. If you haven't had a chance to see it yet, please do. And uh, we'll be back to the office on uh, Tuesday and doing some things. And we've gotten a few ideas and suggestions for people for a video they'd like to see. So we're going to do that on, on dating things and looking how to look at foot rims and comparing them. And uh, we'll see what else happens. But uh, I hope all of you have a great and safe New Year's Eve out and around. And the same for your family and children. And uh, we'll see you all uh, next week. And uh, uh, I hope you all had a, everybody had a Merry Christmas. All right. Bye-bye. Thanks for visiting. And uh, subscribe if you haven't already. So long. Bye-bye.